Hola, soy Dora Marquez. Some have known me to be an explorer, a hero, a friend. But the reality is, I'm none of those things. I'm a failure. As a child, I spent months collecting stars anywhere that I could find them, with the help of my closest friend, Boots. However, I found out far too late that those stars... Those stars were young demons in disguise. I found out about that during my high school graduation. Alana Ernest. Chris Gifford. Matthew Gumley. Boots? Donde estas? Where are you? Dora, I can't make it to your graduation. There's there's something that's after me. The voices won't stop, Dora. They won't stop yelling at me. Boots? I'm not sure how much longer I've left. I'm scared, Dora. Tell Backpack and Map to stay strong for me. Promise me that you'll always be there for them. Please, Dora. I'm sorry. Hang in there, Boots. I'm coming to save you. Dora Marquis. Dora Marquis here. Boots! Boots! By the time I got there, it was too late. Boots was found dead, bleeding out in the bathtub. I was traumatized. Tremiti Zara. And I felt so much guilt. I helped those demons to do this to him. I freed those stars. Those demons. It was all my fault. I was too scared to do anything about it. I ran away from it all. I hid myself from everyone else. I lost contact with my friends. Pablo, Kate, Emma... Naya and Alana. I spent my time alone in the wilderness, distracting myself from the fact that I released a plague of demons upon this world. These demons were very subtle in their ways of madness, but I definitely recognized their evil atrocities. But that, that was just a long time ago.
haven't seen in a long time. I really hope you're doing well. Hopefully you can come visit me because I kind of miss you. I'm really happy with how my life turned out. You were a big part of it. Not to say that I might be getting a bit too old. My heart isn't as good as it used to be. If anything bad happens to me, I would at least like to know that I spent some of my last moments with you. I know it's weird to send this letter to you considering that we haven't spoken in a long time, but I don't know. I just really want to see my friend again. Thanks. Hola. Hey, Dora! Come inside. You know, you humans are so lucky. You guys have much longer lifespans than bulls. <laughs> you have a nice house. Yeah, thanks. Hey, by the way, Dora, where's the map? Where's Backpack? Are they okay? I left them in a sanctuary to keep them safe. They should be doing all right in there. I hope they're happy. How's Tico? Tico? Yeah, he's doing well. He went off on a journey a few weeks ago. I haven't heard from him since. I'm sure he's doing just fine, though. Oh, and did you hear the news about Swiper? No, what happened? So you know how he went to jail about three years ago, right? Well... Now his prison sentence is almost over! I'm honestly surprised! It feels like it was almost yesterday when he was first arrested. Do you think he's changed? I honestly don't. That no good fox isn't capable of change. He should have never been released from jail. He killed a woman during his bank robbery. She was innocent. Do you honestly think a man like that deserves to be out in the public? That was a very long time ago. Who knows what he's even like now? People change, Dora. People change. Dora, would you like some food? No thanks. Where have you been all this time? Everybody misses you. I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. Well, I haven't been through that much in the past few years. Just got a few more wrinkles in a week of heart. It's sometimes hard to sleep at night. I would wake up in the middle of some nights either because of my back pain, heartache, or nightmares. That sounds awful. I'm sorry that you had to go through that on your own, Benny. You know, I myself used to have some issues going to bed at night years ago. How'd you get over it? I'm not sure. Sometimes I'm not even sure if I'm awake or asleep. This all feels like some sort of bad dream. Well, it's getting late. I should let you head off home now. No, it's fine, Benny. I could stay a bit longer if you want. Maybe we can meet up again some other day. As for now, I insist that you go home to get some rest. I should know that I definitely need it. Gracias, Benny. Adios, amigo. Hey, uh...
Relax. It's just me. Swiper? Stay back. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. God, that's so annoying. Just stop. Listen, I'm not the same fox that you remember me as. You're a thief. A thief with no honor. That's all in the past. Listen, I'm a changed fox. You're lying. I swear I'm being honest with you, Dora. Prove it, Zoro. Listen, you believe in forgiveness, right? So why aren't you giving me a second chance? If I told you about my experience in prison that led towards me being a changed fox, then would you believe me? Maybe. Okay, this might seem a bit strange, but during my time in prison, I became born again. I used to believe that there was nothing else out there when I was younger. But I had this one experience in prison. It changed my life forever. You see, I wasn't very popular in prison. All the inmates mocked me and hated me. They would always make fun of the fact that I would stop any one of my robberies if anyone told me, swipe or no swiping. They would always repeat it whenever I was nearby them, constantly, over and over again. Swiper, no swiping! Swiper, no swiping! Those words haunted me. Wherever I went, I was a joke to them. And I couldn't escape the torment. You see, there was this one day where some genius decided that it'd be funny to give me a good beating. This guy was really rich. This guy managed to get his hands on a dagger. I'm guessing that he paid someone from the outside for it. He also paid one of the corrupted guards to let him and one of his friends to be locked in a room with me, alone. His friend gave me a few good punches. I tried to fight back, but it was useless. I was beaten so badly that my vision became blurry. I was barely even able to breathe back there. I did, however, manage to see that the other inmate was standing over me about to stab me with his dagger. However, just as he was about to do it, I had a vision. It was a bit hard to explain, but basically I saw a cross made out of a very bright light. It was surrounded by darkness and smoke. I then heard a voice say to me, speak the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord. I tried to reach for the cross. Once I did, the vision ended, and suddenly the dagger was gone. The inmates stood there, wondering where the knife went. One of the nicer guards came in and told us to get out of there. That night, I truly believed Jesus had saved my life. Huh? So you're telling me that you're now a born-again Christian? Yeah, and ever since then I've been trying to give back to the world everything that I stole. I'm just trying to make the world a better place now. Speaking of that, that's kind of why I was looking for you. What do you mean? You see, I had a really weird dream after I got out of prison. In my dream, there was this angel who told me that there's a spiritual war going on out there. That demons were plaguing this world. The angel told me to talk to you about it. Do you happen to know what's going on out there? Demons? No, I never heard about this. Sounds like an odd dream. Maybe you should bring backpack and map with you and start exploring again to help me put these demons back in hell. My explorer days are over. Dora, you can't dwell on the past. Listen. I know that Boots died a few years ago. I'm sorry that it happened. But that doesn't mean that you should stop being an explorer. Come on, it's the right thing to do. Dora, this is our responsibility. How could we ever just sit back and do nothing as the world around us is being possessed by demons? The world needs us.
Please. Dora. Fine. Follow me. Hola, Dora. ¿Cómo estás? Hola. Is Backpack and Map still here? Yes. They're safe in the back room. Let me go get them for you. Here they are. I found them. Dora! Where have you been? Wait, is that... <gasps> Swiper. Calm down, Backpack. He's helping us. We're going to work together to take down some demons. He claims to be good now, but keep an eye out for him. I still don't know if I can trust him very much. Come on, guys. What's it gonna take for me to convince you guys that I've really changed? Father Davis, do you have any experience in casting out demons? Yes, in fact, I've been dealing with demons for over the past 10 years. I've often told Backpack and Map about my many adventures. I've noticed a great increase of demonic activity in the world for the past few years, and so I prepared Backpack with everything one would need in order to deal with the demon. Oh, thank you. Oh, and one more thing. I have a small gift for Map before he goes. Here is the blood of a demon. Map, I'm going to smear it upon your paper so that you may be able to track the nest of demons, okay? Map! Hey, Map! We need your help right now. to find the locations of all the demon nests. Hmm. Well, actually, Dora, I think I would recommend a different approach. You see, Dora, the gates of hell are wide open right now, and if we were to take down demon nests, they would only temporarily stun them. They would easily escape from hell as soon as we would send them there. So I suggest that we close the gates of hell first. This way, they won't be able to escape. Okay, so how do we get to the gates of hell? Well, first you'll need to go to the graveyard to find a secret entrance. Then you'll have to go through a cave to find a book of spirits. Next you'll need to go through the abandoned underground railroad tunnel. After that you'll have to cross a large wooden bridge. Then finally, you'll have to go up Lightning Mountain, which is where the portal to hell is. Remember, graveyard, cave, railroad, Wooden Bridge, Lightning Mountain. Say it with me. Graveyard, Cave, Railroad, Wooden Bridge, Lightning Mountain! Gracias! Good luck in your travels, Dora. Adios, amigo! Dora, I promise that in these next few days, I won't let you down! 
I'm not sure if I can trust you yet, but I'm willing to give you a chance. If you mess this up, there is no going back. Trust me, my days of stealing are over. But I do suppose that actions speak louder than words. Throughout this adventure of ours, I will prove to you that I am willing to risk everything for the sake of justice. I really hope that you will learn to forgive me, Dora. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. Well, if you really don't swipe anymore, then how could your name still be Swiper? I'm never changing my name. It's a reminder of my past. It's a reminder of who I used to be. Who I refuse to be. Besides, maybe swiping doesn't necessarily relate to robbing from others. Maybe I'm just trying to swipe all the demons from out of this world and put them back in hell. <laughs> <laughs>